yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to another three scary games. <laughs> All right, let me stop. <laughs> welcome back to another three scary games. This time we have a decent, a decent mix of three, three scary games. We have one based on a creepy pasta, uh, which I've never heard of. I've heard of creepy pastas, but I've never heard of this one specifically. We have one based off of a SCP. I know nothing about SCPs. And we have another one based on finding a game and playing a game within a game. It's a lot of game. This first one is called Jack in the Box. This is one based off of the creepypasta Laughing Jack. I'm gonna have to read up on this after I play this because I'm gonna probably be intrigued enough to want to know about it. Anyways, let's hop right into this shit! My son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just an imaginary friend like any parent would. But ever since that day when he first talked about him, strange things started happening. And I'm having nightmares which look very realistic. But everything is black and white. Oh shit. Can I change my sensitivity please? that all the way up much better we're at a carnival i'm going to assume i don't exactly know what my objective is other than to just walk around and try to avoid jack maybe oh let me let me turn my volume all the way up y'all know we got to get that volume up that's how you get the that's how you get the scare factor in there i don't even know what my controls are do i have controls what is my objective? Somebody give me answers. I like the carnival. You know, I've only, I've never actually been to like a legitimate carnival before with, uh, you know, the clowns and the elephants and stuff like that. But I have certainly been to fairs and connect. Handles missing. Press escape to view your current objective. Find the missing handle. I have found it already, but it wouldn't let me interact with it. No. Oh! Okay. All right. Cool. No, turning the volume up wasn't a bad idea at all. And as a matter of fact, I think that was a fantastic idea. Because... Oh, this was a bad idea. You're not going to scare me. You're not going to scare me. I have iron will. I have balls of steel. What is this glowing in here? Are you the titular laughing Jack? You're not, you're not very funny. You're not exactly laughing either. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. And then the fuck you. Okay, maybe I'm gonna. Maybe I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Hello? No. Oh. Okay. Um, it gets worse. I gotta. I keep readjusting myself. Okay, it gets much worse than this. Got it. For some reason, I like to have thought that we were done after winding the music box, but we're not. I think... I think we're far from done. Isn't that my son's toy car? Truthfully, it could be anybody's toy car. It doesn't necessarily have to be your son's. But if that's how you want to interpret it, sure. No! Oh! No. No. I don't do with I don't do laughing kids. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, we're turning around. 
Oh. Who's there? I have gun. I need to grab a knife. Oh, okay, that's common sense. That is such a smart idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. That's legit what I would have done. Whoever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. I'm gonna take your life before you take my son. Let me in, you bastard! Bobby, James, Timothy, Liam Neeson. Now why do I keep winding the box? Why do I think this is a good idea? Oh, I can't. I don't want to do it anymore. So please don't kill me. Why would I look into it? Why, why? That's not common sense. You grab a knife and then look into the deadly laughing box. Ah, hi, hi. This time, it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. Fuck this game, I don't want to play anymore. Thanks for playing. All right, that was a short and sweet little experience. Definitely got me with a, a, a few of the jump scares, the noises, turning up the volume certainly did help. You know, I feel like if it were longer, it would have had my heart racing a lot faster, but it was a good start. It was a good little warm up. So the next game, this next one here we have is called Lamp Post. This is based on the SCP Lamp Post, I assume. I, I. Hello? I never quite understood SCPs because it's like an SCP could literally be anything. I could look at a pen and it could be an SCP. Probably. I don't know how that works, but there's like a lamppost. A lamppost is literally considered an SCP. This specific lamppost, I guess. I, I'm going to stop talking and get into the game. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to, de to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP XXXX, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to, de conduct, to conduct, sorry, I can't read, a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Cool. Great. So it's going to... Consume the oxygen from the trees and kill us all. That's how I'm calling the end of the game. Dr. Hyden, our, in <coughs> our intel suggests that this is Keter class SCP. Keter? Keter? Which means that this is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of uh, mobility, but is somehow ca capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appear from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this is this is analog multimeter. Here. This is analog multimeter, that's English. It is used to measure electrical quantities, like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper, yeah, Cooper, will observe us, just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if need be. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. 
Stay vigilant. Avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Alright, so because you told me that I should avoid contact with the lamppost, the first thing I'm going to do is contact the lamppost. Yep, that's a lamppost. Okay, so I assume we are collecting stuff like this fan? No? This notebook? No? This jerry can? Nope. This other jerry can? No, am I not pressing the right button? What are my what are my buttons? This shovel's got to be something. The shovel with blood under it? Not concerned about that one. I'm going to be like, "Hey chief, you want to come take a look at this?" None of that. That's fine. I don't think I naturally cared anyways. Dr. Cooper, what's good, gang? Have you collected the samples? We should not stay for too long. The SCP radiation can be harmful. Collect the samples and report to me afterwards. My head is killing me. Yeah, okay, but like, how? Regular looking lamppost, right? Except the light glows more intensely. But spans a shorter range. We must be very careful with it. I already feel uncomfortable being here. You don't want to talk to me? Dr. Hyden? You don't want to? Okay. Fuck you too then, bitch. Oh. Oh. So my thingy is supposed to go off when I'm by something that is clearly an anomaly. <coughs> so you mean to tell me that this floppy disk right here or, you know, this fan that's on the ground over here, that's just supposed to be there? In the middle of the forest. Pollution is that bad. Pollution and littering are that bad in this area to where we're just normalizing trash being in the middle of nowhere. Can I turn this? I can't turn this. I can't even escape. There's foot. Hey, Chief! Hey, Chief, you might want to come take a look at this. There's footprints going into the walls. But clearly, that's not an anomaly, so I'm not going to worry about it. But, like, Chief, you should come take a look at that. There we go. Report to Dr. Cooper. Got it. So we're not even going to clean up the mess that's just lying around here. Man, we kind of suck at just taking care of the environment, don't we? Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do not wonder where do you not wonder where those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You get you saw that too, right? Hey chief! Hey chief! Chief, behind you! No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension. Hey, Chief. Your analog multimeter is picking up frequency. Damn. Oh, no. The lamppost. <laughs> ah! uh... Don't do that. Find a way out. Oh, no. Oh no. Date, unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons creates a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light. And if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object, or a person, disappears. Is that what happened to this guy? Did he touch this light? Whoa. I'm not scared of you, bitch! <laughs> yeah! You better run! Pussy! Is that a VHS? Um, hello? 
Okay. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna. Worry. Ah. There's just stuff lying around here. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not. Let's not do that. I was told to keep away from the lamp posts. So the lamp posts I will keep away from. Now what kind of skeleton is that? Date unknown. Sometimes the lamp post can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadowy figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Got it. So, shadowy man. Whoa! Bitch, I'm not scared of you! Ah! Ah, I'm not scared! I'm a man! I'm stronger than you! I'm something to be feared. I'm a force to be reckoned with. You don't know who I am until you've seen me in action. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by, the, by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe and it will trap you there forever, without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Is that what happened? Is this- uh! Ah! 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 Oh boy. Hey, Dr. Hyden? Oh. That's your eye. Oh, whoa. Coca Cola? I want a soda. I want something to drink. Boy, am I parched. Boy. My sensitivity is like all over the place. There's no way for me to adjust it, but you still insist. Okay, I'm going in circles now. Lamp post! Lamp post! Lamp post! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh, did you bring me back? How sweet of you. Oh. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. Send me back. You know what? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Wasn't quite sure what happened. Um. Because the note was saying that, like, the shadowy figure sends you to a place that you feel safe. Or like, does the lamp post send you to the place that you feel very safe? Because why was I trapped in that maze? And why did I only find Dr. Hyden? I was with three other people. Am I the only one that's confused about that? A next game! Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm already not liking this. Oh my God. Oh, there's something about this music. Um, This next game in our last game is called Replay. You end up finding it. Fuck. I. Hold on. Let me just turn this down really quick so that I can think. Think of my thoughts. Um, the next game in our last game is called Replay. You end up finding a game on your way home from somewhere. I'm gonna say work. And you just decide to play the game in the dark. So you can look around the room, you can move your character in the game, and then you can use space to jump and use doors within the game. I'm not fucking with this music. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not liking this one bit. Why is he creeping around like that? <laughs> no, I jumped to collect the coin.
Hey, buddy. This is fine. This is, there's nothing weird about this at all. Hey, I did it. I did it. Hello, lady. It's just a storm. There's nothing creepy about a storm. Oh no. Oh no. I have an idea of how this game is gonna end. I'm gonna call it right now, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it for later to see if I'm right. Oh. Oh my god. I didn't know I was playing a platformer. Fuck! Ah, there we go. Everything is okay. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? Oh. Hello, mister. I don't mean to intrude on your home or just, you know, creep around like this. was dead that guy was um um that guy was dead on the floor right we all saw that oh shit I have to restart the whole level I think I still have all my coins yay we completed the level <laughs> level complete All right, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen now? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I'm gonna have to go next door. To get, yeah, okay. I get it. This is an easy game. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, okay. I can play the game like this. I can play the game like this. Well, but my coins! My coins! Okay. Um. Mom? Dad? Uncle? Grandpa? Roommate? Somebody? Somebody had to have opened that door. It wasn't me. My coins! Okay, let me just immerse myself back in the game and not worry about... Uh, oh! Hey! Hey, I don't think we should be playing this anymore. I genuinely don't think that this is a game we should be playing anymore. It really doesn't help that this poster right here. What? What is happening? What is happening in the game and in the in the real life game? Oh, no.
no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> no, okay, everybody take, take a break. Take a little break, drink your water. Rehydrate yourself. All right, break time's over. Oh, there's blood on the floor. Bitch, who's gonna come clean this up? I don't have room service. Who's gonna come clean this up? I can't even go through the doors anymore. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. No, 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 I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of anything you're selling. I don't want it. Whatever you've got, I don't need it. Stop flickering with the lights, no Surah 2. That's a SpongeBob reference for anybody who didn't catch that. I should, I should maybe like get up and close my door. I should maybe like get up and close my door. Y'all hear the footsteps? When I move in the game, this the sound oh, fuck. It's on point with the movement too. I should have expected that. Okay, that was probably my favorite one. I think if I if I had to pin them as like first, second, and third, I would say replay is first. Jack in the Box is second, probably just because it, it was a good start to the three scary games. And then uh, Lamp Post was third place. It wasn't horrible, but it definitely wasn't as good as Jack in the Box or replay for sure. I did call that though. I, in my head, in my head, I was like, yeah, this is going to be one of those games where whatever's happening in the game is actually going to happen in in the real life game. It was spooky. It was scary. Definitely first place. That was three scary games. If you guys have any recommendations for another three scary games, um, go ahead and send them in the comments. I have a Twitter. Give me suggestions there. I have an Instagram as well. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Why not? We are 90 subscribers away from our 500 subscriber mark. If you want to see my last video, which was Spider-Man 2 video, go ahead and click that on the link somewhere around here. If you want to see my other scary games videos, go ahead. I have a full playlist right here, somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. Go take a nap, go to bed, go do something other than maybe not play video games like ever again. This might be the last video of my <laughs> I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out.